So thanks, welcome back to DigiTalk. So I have covered uh, the new features in WebLogic Server 14.1.2.0 in my previous sessions. Okay, in this uh, session, I'm going to cover one specific feature, which is specifically related with the security. Okay, and let me show you what exactly is that feature. This is called per domain CA. Okay, Oracle WebLogic 14.1.2.0 overhauls the demonstration certificate authority which is called a CA to provide a more secure key store implementations. Okay, so this is one, one more security related feature that has been incorporated in WebLogic 14.1.2.0. Okay, and I'm going to explain you what exactly it is. Okay, so now before that, uh, uh, let me quickly cover a few more uh, features. Okay, uh, the first is uh, WebLogic 14.1.2.0 is certified with the JDK 17 and 21. Okay at which I have covered in my previous sessions in detail how you can check the certification matrix for the WebLogic versions and then JDK versions and there are certain uh, improvements in terms of the upgrade okay so most of the time uh, when we do the upgrade okay uh, the major challenges that we face is specifically related with the applications okay because uh, uh, there are a lot of JDK versions there are a lot of different different WebLogic versions and and there are a lot of different uh, uh, other uh, third-party applications versions as well like jdbc for the database there are a lot of apis are there for the integration so there are multiple things and uh, during the upgrade we have to ensure that uh, uh, the our all the applications and their versions should support the current weblogic version which to which we are going to upgrade right so that is a bit complex exercise to understand that completely so now to overcome that now one more feature that has been incorporated which is specifically uh, related with the upgrade improvement and what exactly that is which is called the web logic migration analysis tool and open rewrite recipes so these specific features are introduced to uh, solve the complexity of to identify the application that need to be upgraded Okay, so with the help of my uh, WebLogic migration analysis tool, which is a specifically a small utility, or you can say it is a jar file, which is provided with the WebLogic version 14.1.2, okay, which you can run, okay, and then which with the help of this command, you can specify the your code file, for example, a uh, EAR file or for a WAR file, okay, and it does the complete analysis of your code file, and then it lists out all the depreciated APIs that you are you may be using in your application which is not supported in the current version 14.1.2 okay so accordingly you can do certain kind of a manual changes and apart from that if you would like to go for some certain kind of automations for the upgrade of your application versions okay for that there is an open rewrite recipes are provided okay and for that you need to take help of your developers so these are the features that have been incorporated with respect to the upgrade okay so i'm going to cover that in detail as well in my future sessions okay i'm just giving you a small uh, overview of the features that has been introduced okay so this session is specifically i am uh, i thought to cover only the, the security feature which is per domain ca okay but i thought to let have a discussion on few more important features so if you have missed my earlier session so that it can be covered at a high level in this session as well so jdk 17 and 20 uh, 21 is now supported with the 14.1.2.0 and then these are the upgrade improvements okay and there are a lot of uh, runtime improvements and then you have a manageability improvements okay documentation update history as well so let me show you the runtime improvement so runtime improvements specifically related with the uh, security gms jdbc data sources and intelligent load balancing so this intelligent load balancing i have covered in detail in my few more few of my previous sessions okay where uh, uh, certain uh, algorithms has been introduced in in your uh, WebLogic 14.1.2a along with the OHS which is a web server from Oracle okay for the intelligent load balancing based on the utilization of your managed servers in the backend okay so now your OHS can re, uh, uh, can route the request to your backend managed server based on the uh, load or utilization of your managed servers which is called the intelligent load balancing okay so this is a new load balancing or algorithm that has been introduced which you can integrate uh, with the OHS, which is a uh, HTTP server or a web server from the Oracle when you are going to integration with the WebLogic 14.1.2, right? So there are certain improvements with the, uh, related with the data source, with the JMS as well, which we, I will cover in the future sessions. Specifically in the security, I am going to cover the per domain CA, okay? What is the change in the demonstration certificate, specifically in 14.1.2?
right and apart from that let me check if it is something else interesting also is there okay so now manageability improvements this is i am covering in my each and every session of 1412a now the the traditional admin console has now been depreciated so 1412 onwards you have to use the weblogic remote console utility which is an open source utility which you can download uh, okay and then you can install it on your windows machine as well as you can install it on your linux as well okay after installation you can run the remote console utility okay and then with the help of remote console you can access your weblogic admin console right so this is a utility that i have been showing in my all the sessions previous sessions right this i have installed in my windows machine so with the help of this utility you can register the multiple domains and you can manage the multiple domains or multiple admin consoles from the single location you don't need to go to browser and you don't need to open the multiple tabs for each and every admin console each and every domain everything you can manage from this single location which is called the weblogic remote console tool right so that means now traditional admin console is no longer available this is one of the major change in the weblogic 14120 right so these are some interesting changes that has been introduced in 14120 so let me now cover quickly the per domain ca which is a feature inside the security okay let me go to the security and let me show you per domain ca so what is it it is so the demo ca is now unique to each new domain rather than shared across all installations of weblogic server additionally the identity and trust key stores are now in pkcs12 format so this is a major enhancement so we know that uh, if we would like to configure the ssl in weblogic so we have two options either we can enable the default ssl certificate that come uh, with the weblogic installation okay which is only for the demonstration and testing purpose which we can use in our testing or development environment apart from that you can configure it with the third party certificate as well third party organization certificate as well right specifically when we we configure it in production environment right so now the demo certificate in the earlier versions we had the common across all of the installations that means if your demo certificates are demo ca certificates are going to be expired so you can copy paste the demo uh, ca file certificate file from one location from one installation to different installation right but now from 1412 onward you can't do that one because that demo certificates ca certificates are completely unique for each and every domain so that means if any of the uh, demo certificates are going to be expired in the weblogic 14120 so you have to regenerate that you can't uh, just copy paste uh, from the other installation just like we have in the previous versions right and now the identity and trust key store in the pkcs12 format so so far we have in jks format right if you remember that we have identity.jks and trust.jks files for identity and trust right and but now in 14120 we have it in the pkcs12 format right and and the other change is the validity period of the new demo ca and key store are shortened compared to previous releases so now they expire in 5 year and 6 month of period of time that means we have the uh, demo ca certificates that will come with uh, with the 5 year of expiry and along with that if you have a key store which uh, or you can say the identity store which contain your identity along with your private key and the ssl certificate or which is the server certificate which will come for with the default 6 month of validity so these are the major enhancement specifically related with the ca demo ca certificates that we have in the weblogic versions right so if you are not uh, uh, very clear on the this certificate part okay let me give a small clarity on that so whenever we do the configurations of ssl in weblogic okay so what exactly we need we need a key store okay and key store and then along with that we need a demo or we can we need a trust store so basically when we configure the ssl okay what we need we need the identity and trust right so if you remember as i said uh, you may have seen the two key stores with the name of identity dot jks in all of the previous versions and similarly for trust you will have a trust dot jks we have a two key stores right so this is a key store which contain your uh, private key along with that here we store our main ssl certificate which is also called the server certificate right and this contain your root certificate along with that now we are getting the intermediate certificate as well intermediate certificates so this is specifically applicable when we configure the weblogic with the third party third party cert ca okay third 
party CA. So when we configure the weblogic with third party CA certificate, so we get three certificates. So one is the server certificate, second is the root certificate and then intermediate certificate. So what we do, uh, we import the root and intermediate certificate in the trust key store and we import the main SSL or the server certificate which contain its identity in the identity key store. So we have a two kind of a key stores. So now in, in WebLogic version 14.2, instead of this identity.jks and trust.jks, okay, this could be, you will see like a demo identity and demo trust. Okay, so now what is happening in 14.2 is now this, the, the, the extension or you can say the format of the JKS uh, uh, key store has been now changed to PKCS12. This is one of the other uh, key store format. Okay, which you will see mostly in all of the applications now in the future as well. Okay, so let me show you that as well. So that is now in the PKS and what is the location? So the location of the demo identity and trust is inside the domain, you will have a folder called security and inside the security, you will have both demo identity and demo trust.p12. So these are the main two files now instead of the JKS. So this is the older versions location. Okay, in the older versions, you will have the demo trust.jks and demo identity.jks, and the location was the weblogic installation location. Okay, and then server lib, and this is the location. Okay, this is for 10.3, and in, in 11g and 12c versions, the location could be different. Okay, but the main point here is that this JKS key store now has been changed to demo identity p12 which is in the pkcs12 format and the location is domain security let me show you this as well so uh, this is the 1412 domain in my machine so here you will see a security folder inside the security you will see there are a lot of files so here you can see the demo identity.p12 and demo trust.p12 so these are the two default your trust files now right and the validity of this is 5 year and 6 month. That means for trust for demo CA, the validity is 5 year and 6 month is for identity. Let me open this link as well if some important information is there. Let me show you this as well. Okay, so this is how uh, to just to configure how you can configure if your certificates are going to be expired or you would like to configure now you, uh, with the third party certificates, then how you can configure all, the, all of this information are there in this page. Okay, so now we have a PKCS12 key store. So that means if you are going to uh, configure with the third party certificates you have to import the certificates in the pkcs12 key store instead of jks okay so that i am going to cover in the future sessions when we have, i will cover the configuration of ssl so here you can now see uh, the default location of these two files are now domain and then security which i have just shown to you right and these are the two files right and if you would like to check the validity of this one okay so let me show you so this is the demo trust. So this will contain your trust files. Okay. Demo trust files. So let me go to the. Okay. So let me go to my domain first. Security location where I have my both of the key stores. Okay. Let me open the command prompt. So here let me run and let me show you. Okay. So this is. This is a command to list all of the certificates from a key store. Okay, now the key store type is PKCS12. So I have given the store type as PKCS12. And this is the name of the key store. Right. And the default password is demo trust key store passphrase. So let me take it and let me let me paste it here. So here you can see the certificate details are listed, which is there inside the key store. And specifically, if I go to the Validity. Now you can see the validity is still December 22, 2029. That means for five years. So the validity of de demo CA certificates are five years. Okay, as we have seen in the document as well. Here, five years. Now, if we, if we would like to uh, see for the validity of our server or SSL certificate, which is now only six months, for that, similarly, just we ran the command. We have to run the command for the identity okay the problem is here looks like the password for the default demo identity has been changed in the 14.1.2.0 and as of now i do not have any information about that one so this is the default in all of the previous versions demo trust.jk the password is demo trust key store passphrase the same password is working for the 
demo trust dot p12 as well but the password which we had in the or which we have in the demo identity dot jks which is the default identity key store passphrase it is not working that means the password might have been changed and i have no information or there is no documentation till now what is the new password for the demo identity dot pkc as well key store okay so once i will get this information i am going to share with all of you okay and let me show you this as well so this is the command okay and if i okay let me take it again this is for the identity and if i run this command and if i try to go with the this same password which is still now we have for the earlier versions it is not working okay that means this password has been changed however for the trust store the password has not been changed okay or maybe i am doing some mistakes so you can correct me if i am wrong here okay you can write a comment on the session okay if i am not if i am wrong, wrong in anywhere okay otherwise uh, once i will get this information i will share with you right so this is one of the major change uh, with respect to the security and specifically for the demo certificates in the 1412 oh thank you